I started establishing relationships in Cuba in terms of our profession and thought that I could try to retake that idea and brought it up for the school curriculum committee and to the deans of the school and got the support we needed and created this class. Um, my family, my maternal family, is uh, they're from Cuba and that was like as soon as I heard that this opportunity was available, it was something that I knew I had to jump on. Yeah, I'm just excited to see like what Cubans are like because we really only hear the negative things in the news. Um, I first uh, signed up for this course just as an interest in Cuba in general. Really didn't have a lot of prior knowledge to it. Um, really interested in learning more about the history and the current practices and how it relates to our um, social work practice here. and how those translate back to the culture. I, know, I just love the culture. I want to learn more about it. I want to be able to compare um, for my own opinion what it is to live over there, aside from what I hear every day on the media and also from research done and articles. Cuba is the only country in Latin America that in the last 50 years, never an American flag has been burned. A lot of the focus on health policy is prevention. Voy a hablar un poquito más sobre cómo trabajan acá con las escuelas cuando empiezan a la educación sexual y cómo es. I think upon my visit back, being born and raised in New York, I think many of us. Uh, become, we become immune. When I come back here, going to a doctor's office on the visit, it's amazing because the first question that's asked is, do you have your insurance card? What type of insurance do you have? Now in Cuba, the first question that you're asked is, how can I help you? What's the matter? What's your problem? How can I help you? Um, actually, before that is, what's your name? In how they management themselves in terms of beliefs, in terms of practices, and also in terms of kind of holding up to their faith whenever adversity hits them. Where seniors go during the daytime to sort of entertain themselves and, and, and socialize with other people their age. Tenemos que reconocer que fue un momento que el trabajo social y el trabajo comunitario cogió mucha fuerza. Queremos aprender de ustedes y es un privilegio estar aquí con ustedes. Muchas gracias por darme la One of the things that was definitely most appealing to me was the trade school. Um, it was interesting because the um, they basically just it's just that they get to learn a specific trade. Fear of just asking questions and understanding how to do rural versus urban type of research, and I think it was a very good visit. And that day they were coincidentally signing agreements with UNICEF to continue and collaborate with other international agencies in Cuba. And I think it was a very good visit with UNICEF to continue and collaborate with other international agencies in Cuba. So it, it was just a great visit and a great opportunity for students to see another angle of Cuban work. We visited the um, cut, the, the hair cutting um, school, I guess you could call it, community um, center almost. And it was really cool. And it. It was something really unique that I didn't expect to see when we were on the trip. Um, I expected to see some of the hospitals and rehabilitation centers, but. Las Terrazas is a, is a place that I wanted students to visit because I thought it was important that they got out of Havana and they saw something that was not the city and the center of everything, which is Havana. Um, and if I had time, I would have taken them to Santiago de Cuba, but I, we didn't have that allotment of time. So. We have a lot of senior citizens, and old Havana, in Havana, has a very high index of senior citizens. So this is for us a vulnerable group. We want to provide them different facilities so they be, during the day, 
doing something useful and so they feel useful. Que vengan más para que vean cómo es Cuba, que lo estamos esperando con los brazos abiertos. Que en independencia de, de las relaciones que puedan existir, nosotros estamos abiertos a recibirlos a ustedes todas las veces que quieran venir y mostrarles nuestra realidad. <risa> Casi nos van a hacer llorar. <risa> I, I want to go back. I love Cuba. I have established that. I love the people. And yeah, I think, I think those are the three things that pretty much stood out to me. Um, till this day, I think we will all agree as a class that everyone we speak to about our experiences has no idea and cannot wrap their head around what it was that we experienced because they didn't live it with us. A lot of us really had some impactful relationships that grew even just within a week. And it was very, very difficult to have to say goodbye um, and not know when we would ever be seeing these people again or when we would ever speak to them again. Um, and there was something so unique in sharing an experience with them and having them teach us about their culture. Um, it was life-changing. It was truly life-changing. Um, no, I think, I think not only do I think that the Cuban social work uh, course should, should be something that is offered every year um, at the School of Social Work, but I think that there should be um, more opportunities like it. Mm -hmm.